Okay. okay. So um, this is uh, we work with a software partner called OG. Yeah, and you gave this presentation how many times? Yeah, why actually presentation? So uh, this is actually an Android application. It is written in Java. Uh, and it runs on top of um, uh, MIPS based uh, uh, IC. <coughs> so initially, uh, actually, uh, a while ago, uh, the software vendor was developing the solution on top of an ARM platform. But uh, they had problems with the performance, and uh, we approached them, and we, we basically all we did was we gave them a port. Uh, okay. And then what happened was that they ported the entire software in three days, and the performance was up to the uh, level that they're, they're pretty happy with. So um, uh, that's uh, this is one of the demos. What's interesting thing here is that it provides um, uh, it's a social uh, uh, kind of media playing uh, solution. So it's a DNA client, so it searches through all the local uh, content. So I can show you where sources and I can look at the local sources. So now it's looking at all the local hard disks and it found a couple of the, uh, uh, the deal and the client and the contents in there. So actually this uh, media player, this is the that netbook right there. And then it looked up. So it can look inside uh, all of the streams and the concert files and it catalogs. And it goes to a various database like the IMDB and then several others. And then it could create a um, list of concepts. So it, instead of just a list of file names, it catalogs and it, it gets all the, uh, uh, the covers okay. uh, on the screen. And also, if you look at the content, you, know, you get all the, the description for the movies as well. So this way, you have a library and not just a, a collection of files. So it's much easier for the, the user to uh, be able to watch. Uh, what type of content does the library support? Like, say, if you download a TV episode sold off iTunes or if you load a DVD or something. Yeah, you can, it catalogs all those because in addition to all the movie database, it looks at the TV database. Okay. And for the content wise, it looks inside the metadata of the, of the file. So, so like iTunes, I think they check the file names and then it makes a guess into what it is. But in, in this case, it does look into the file itself and the, the metadata. Okay. And then does a search based on that. Okay. And of course, and one thing you can do is to uh, play. So you can watch the movie on the main screen. So an extra shot is coming to your SD. It's not a network. I'm not sure this works. <laughs> so you can watch it locally or you can have the option to send it to a DLNA renderer. So this is a Windows 7 laptop. Uh, We're on the library. This is Windows 7, right? Yeah. Okay. Library, we'll get to know it. So basically, from uh, you can send a video over to the And you can even control it with a so, so I can pause it from here. Stop it. And you can do that with any media. So you could take a, you could browse YouTube, for example. Select a movie and then choose to stream that to another device. Okay. We've been having. How many devices can you link together? Um, so we're using DLNA. So actually, currently. I said stream to another device, but actually it's just instructing the laptop to go to YouTube to get the file. Oh, so there's no... This doesn't become a bottleneck with multiple okay. devices. Okay. Maybe if you can show the search. Sure. <laughs>
So you've seen a few views of different media sources, but obviously through a 10-foot interface, you're not going to want to browse through thousands of videos, right? So name name your favorite TV show or movie. Uh, the Office. So this list, the, the sources that it found results for that query, in this case just YouTube, mm -hmm. and these are YouTube results related to the office. Um, if, if, say, you found a, a YouTube clip you particularly liked, mm -hmm. we also have uh, a social layer built into this, so you could share that. Share that particular video with your friends. And what that does, if we go back to the main menu, you can see lists of both what your friends have shared and what you yourself have shared. So included in this list should be that video I just shared. Is that one? And so at a later time, if you want to go and see what videos you've, you've marked as particularly liking, you can come to this list. And Did you show? Sorry, I came partway through the video. Have you gone through the the shows and movie screens? No, I, I think I think we pretty much covered it. So as, as Jeff said, you know, automatically discovers these and uh, catalogs them, so you, you can you can find the media in them. The, the metadata, something probably that wasn't mentioned that, that's important is that we also have a backend for 4G IMS networks. Okay. Sorry, I mean, I mean this is a client for 4G IMS networks that run IPTV. And so the handoff you saw there with uh, DLNA, that would also work on an IMS network globally. So like you're, you're watching something, you, you send it to your cell phone, you walk out with it and you keep watching it. You're okay. late for work, right? That's, that's something that that we believe will be uh, pretty huge in, in the future as, as far as uh, consumer demand goes. That, that you can take your media with you wherever you are. Okay. Yeah. How close are you guys getting this to be ready for sale? Uh, we, 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 three months from now, we're going to be feature complete as far as our product goes, but there's still optimizations that need to happen with uh, MIPS Android. So okay. we're, we're looking at about six months. This platform will, will be stable enough to, that, that we can ship, that we ship a whole product. Okay.